Boss Looks. My name is Carly Ferris, and today we have a blank desk. And this is very exciting because today I am going to turn this blank desk in front of this window into my sewing area. Uh, if you haven't watched my fabric haul video, please go watch that. Um, also, while you're at it, you could subscribe, like this video, turn on notifications, do all that stuff. It really helps me out. And um, I'm really having fun uh, creating a little community here. Uh, I really appreciate everybody who has been watching my videos and saying that they like watching me. <laughs> I recognize all your little icons and I get so excited to see what you have to say about my videos. So I am here. Oh, I forgot. That's what I was going to talk about. Um, if you haven't watched my fabric haul video, I have discussed that I hate every article of clothing that I own. Um, I don't like my fashion sense. I would like to do a complete upheaval and change of the way that I dress. Um, but I don't have like the funds to buy clothes that I like. And also um, clothes I like, I, I can't find them on the internet. And also I am dissatisfied with uh, the hand that I've been dealt as a plus size woman. Uh, they don't make cute plus size clothes. So I'm gonna make cute plus size clothes. That's what I decided. Also, if you haven't watched my fabric haul video, the point that I'm trying to make is I don't know how to sew. I literally have no idea how to sew. I have done one, well, I have made a skirt that worked out and a dress that did not work out. And that is the length of my sewing projects. Also, I, I can do little mending projects. Like I was gonna show you guys. First thing I did, in my sewing journey was add a hook and eye to these pants. So that's the first thing I did. I thought I would bring you all along with me while I learn how to sew and I make my own clothes. And the first step to that is to create a place where I can do that. We can probably go ahead and get started now. First thing I have to do is put my sewing machine on the desk. So let's do that. Ah! My sewing machine. Let's open it up and get it out of this dirty box. Yeah. This is not actually mine. My grandma and I share it, but she said she's not doing any projects for a while. So I'm gonna save up for my own, but until then, she said that I could keep it here. Isn't that cute? My grandma and I share a sewing machine because we're besties. And then, do I have a plug-in over here? That might be bad if I, perfect. I have a perfect plug-in right underneath there. Yes, I love when things work out for me. I cannot find anything. Let me take you with me. So this is what my bedroom looks like right now. And I'm having to find all of my sewing stuff in this. I'm just trying to keep it real with y'all. I really am. Now I have to get under here and plug it up. So here's the pedal. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. <laughs> I'm, up, I'm going under. I'm going under. So I went to Goodwill and I got this vintage ashtray. Isn't it beautiful? And um, I thought that since it had these cute little three areas, this could be pins, this could be safety pins, and then this could be like hook and eyes. Isn't that cute? Yes, it is. And then that could go right there. And then I got this to hold taller stuff like my fabric scissors or like a long chalk pencil or whatever, you know. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. So I got this nice little sewing kit on Amazon. But I do think I'm gonna take some of the stuff that is like regularly needed out of here because this is not very cute and not very accessible. So yeah, but these are my hook and eyes. I'm gonna put them in my ashtray. <laughs> it works perfectly. I got this big giant spool of black thread because I figure I'll mostly be using black thread. This is my um, tape measure that I stole from the costume department at the school that I go to. Oops, it literally says the school that I go to on it. 
So I will have to work on not showing that to you guys. Bam! Also, I don't like rolling these up because you always have to unroll them. So that's gonna go in there like that. Sorry if that annoys anybody. Here are my new fabric scissors. Look how beautiful. Bam, they go right there. steamer and my iron uh, they are gonna go on this has shelves under here they're gonna go under here on one of these shelves and then I have a tabletop ironing board that I'm just gonna keep right here so I can just whoop 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 next for my fabric stash bucket to have black fabric and another bucket to have non-black fabric. That's a good way of organizing, right? Yeah, they're not all gonna fit in this bucket. Hold on. cemetery candle from Highgate Cemetery in London. It's very special to me. This is a red taper candle. Also, I'm filming with my phone right now so that I can set this where it's gonna go. This is the camera I normally film on. It's super old. It's a EOS, Canon EOS Rebel T5 that I got when I was like 14 years old, uh, but it's still, I mean, it works kind of. You guys always comment that my videos are blurry, so it semi works. This is better quality, honestly, so I might just keep doing this, but um, this is what I normally film with, so. Right there, right there. Honestly, I think I'm gonna save the wall decor for another time because I am not quite sure what I'm gonna do right here, so I will update you. And I think that as it goes on, this area will get a lot cuter. Um, but right now, it is a very functional, wonderful sewing space. So let me take you guys off of the tripod and I will show it to you. Okay, so we have a lot of shelving space for when I eventually need to have more space. Um, this is my fabric, non-black and black. Um, this is that, it's never gonna be the right way unless my foot is on it, so. And then I have this top shelf, which has this, these, this bottom one is full of thread, different colored thread. This up top is my black thread, little scissors, stuff for hand sewing. There's my camera. Here's a cute little decoration set up. My sewing machine, let me not show you guys to my neighbors. And then here is my little ashtray that still has the price on it. I should have washed that off, but it's got hooks and eyes and buttons, closures, pins, um, a thimble, some safety pins, this cute little pumpkin pin cushion. 
And then I have this that has my just my scissors in it right now, but I'm sure other things will go in this eventually. And then this little candle. All right, y'all. I honestly cannot wait to get started with a project and bring you guys along with me. And now I have this wonderful little area that I can do it on. Thank y'all so, so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked this video, again, please make sure to like it down below and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you feel so inclined and you would like to stick around on my sewing journey or the other things that I plan on doing um, because I still plan on doing other stuff like uh, messing up my hair, doing my makeup. Um, I'm actually doing my makeup in a different way recently that I really, really like that maybe I'll do a video on soon um but other than that i think it is my time to go i really really appreciate y'all watching my videos and leaving such nice comments yeah anyway see you next monday bye